Hello everyone, I am Dr. Francisco. I'm alive and live in Facebook once more. In this kidney health education and kidney disease awareness Facebook group, this video group is destined to help patients or the relatives having kidney problems from kidney related diseases like type 2 diabetes, high blood pressure, to understand better the disease so they can come into terms with it, what, what, that's one what aspect, and also understand the disease better, they can also preempt, uh, prevent complications. If they can prevent complications, they also can prevent worries and save money, etc. No? So the aim of this group is mainly education. We have been doing some videos lately on kidney stones. The topic of today is related to that, is uh, what are the tests necessary to detect urinary stones or when urinary stones are um, being suspected by doctors, yeah? First of all, having pain in the flanks and or blood in the urine is suggestive of having a urinary stone but seeing a doctor will be essential and indeed you might have it but it could be that there is something else going on a common suggestion from doctors especially if a urinary stone has not been confirmed is doing together an ultrasound scan and an x-ray of the kidney and urinary tract they are affordable non-invasive and provide minimal risk to patients but if the suspicion of the stone is higher or it is obvious there is a stone, or it is already known to be there and its location or complications, including obstruction, wants to be assessed, a CT scan or a CT urogram is preferred, although these provide significant more radiation than the others. There are other diagnostic tests, diagnostic alternatives, and for that it's always better to consult a doctor and the doctor can advise you. So either the urologist or also nephrologist can advise you on, on this test. Once the presence of urinary stones have been confirmed, I advise my patients to do some extra tests to exclude many of the metabolic conditions that I mentioned in a previous video that are associated with different types of urinary stones. Obviously, I check also what medications they are taking, I take a detailed medical history, etc. What I suggest is a chemical analysis of the urine in a 24-hour urine collection, including pH, calcium, uric acid, citrate, oxalate, sodium, and potassium. The urine volume also should be calculated because sometimes you can discover that you are probably drinking too little water and that's a risk factor for stone formation, as I mentioned before. A chemical analysis of the stones is pivotal if the stone is ever passed or after being extracted. So we can identify actually what the stone is made of and then accurately what type of stones the patients are forming and then target in a personalized way uh, my medical therapy, my dietary and lifestyle advice to that particular type of stone. In some conditions, we can prescribe preventive medications, for example, anti gout medications for uric acid stone formers, or some types of medications that can reduce the excretion of calcium in the urine in, of some patients that actually excrete too much calcium in the urine, and that's probably the reason of uh, the stone formation. We can use some uh, water tablets called thiazides. And because of that, it's very important to do this urine chemical analysis, especially if you want to prevent further stones. Overall, there are few types of stones with different associated causes and some distinct treatment or preventive measures. So our diagnostic strategy and treatment advice must be personalized. So that's the end of today's video. I hope you found this video useful. If so, um, just please give me some likes, that's some motivation, but also tell me that you are finding it useful. Share the existence of this group among your friends, relatives, etc. Or tell them to fill in all the questions of the group admission. Um, many people just type anything there, so 
they they won't be allowed by the administrator, no? Sometimes they just press cha 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 or so any type anything or put yes, yes, yes to everything when the question is what is your name, what is your email? Well we don't ask names, but uh, you know what I mean, no? So in that tell us not that person is not very serious so and so that's why the administrator doesn't allow. So please write your name, write your your email and why you want to form part of this group, yeah? Okay, if you have any comment, just put it later in the comment section. I can advise you. All this, as I told you, uh, is going to be in the YouTube uh, channel as well. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. And it's going to be part of the second edition the of the ebook on kidney health and disease. Okay, so that's it for today. Thank you very much.